Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today it's another Hull City video and today we're going to be talking about Hull City's transfer window of the summer. Um, yeah, just the 16 signings to go through. So yeah, let's waste no time, let's get straight into them. So the first signing of Hull City's summer was Tobias Figueredo. Um, centre back who had previously played for Nottingham Forest um, he was a free agent and we got him for free um, yeah we needed cover as centre back and yeah we you know we needed an experienced centre back and I think we got that with Figueredo um, you know I think most of the games he's played so far he has been really good and um, but there has been a couple of games where you know you think he has made some mistakes and led to some goals. Um, yeah, I think I remember the when we played Coventry at home in our last home game. Um, yeah, Figueroa made, you know, he just wasn't very good that game. Um, luckily, we we won three two, but um, he gave away the penalty and you know he just made a few mistakes. So yeah. But overall, I think he has been an alright signing so far, but we've still got a long season to go. And yeah, we definitely need a centre-back. Next up was Nathan Baxter, and a very good loan signing again from Chelsea, but this time with a to-buy option. Um, not played the season yet, um, Ingram has been in great form, um, but it is good to have a goalkeeper like Baxter in reserve in case anything does happen to Ingram. Um, yeah, I was very happy with signing, it sort of came out of the nowhere really um, you know there were rumours of him coming back but nothing really happened and then it was just announced on the radio that he'd come back so yeah very happy with Baxter signing um, but yeah a very good signing and yeah with the buy option then we never know we might get him permanently the next season now we move on to Ozan Tufan who came from Fenerbahce um, on a permanent deal um, yeah, he's done very well so far. He got injured against West Brom, but he's meant to be back um, against Sheffield United potentially, or maybe the games after. Um, but yeah, he's like you know a fan's favourite at the minute. Um, you know, I think Watford fans complain about him not being fit enough, not running. You know, he, he gets the love from the supporters, and you know that helps him as well. Because you know, I don't, at Watford, I don't think he was like very much, but here. Everyone likes him, and you can tell by his performances that he can pick it up on that and play him well. So yeah, very good signing and a good midfielder as well. I'm looking forward to see what he can bring this season. Yep, the next signing is Oscar, um, the Colombian, on a free transfer. Um, previously been at Portuguese team Vitória. Um, camera last bit. But yeah, he was the fifth top goal scorer in Portugal last season, and we managed to pick him up on a free. And credit to the recruitment team um, because he started the season, you know, one or two games he just settled in, got used to it. But, you know, since then he's not looked back and he's scored seven goals so far um, with a hat trick against Coventry. Um, so, yeah, Oscar does look really good. He gets in the right area. Um, and, yeah, for free, probably one of the best signs of the summer, if not the best one. Next bit of business for the Tigers was Ali Asai Manesh, um, who was on loan with us last season from January to the end of the season. Um, he's arrived on a permanent from Fenerbahce as well. Um, but yeah, a very good player, um, works hard for the team. You know, very skillful, player on the wing, player up front, very quick, but unfortunately he's injured for about three months. Um, but yeah, still a very good attacking option to have when you know when he does come back. Um, he works hard, presses people, he's just, the fans love him as well, so yeah, a very good bit of business from the Tigers. The next one is Seri, who came in on a free agent, um, and funnily enough, Fulham once paid £25 million for Seri, um, and he nearly moved to Barcelona, but a couple of years later, Hull City managed to pick up a, him on a free, and yeah, I think for me this is, has to be the best bit of business the Tigers have done. Um, yeah, it looked like at one point it wasn't going to come because of some team in Italy had offered him 
something, but Ajun, you know, offered him more, and he's here at the Tigers, so yeah, very good, and Ajun wanted him, um, so yeah, Ajun got his man, and City fans love him, um, and hopefully we're back for the Sheffield United game, um, and help us kick on in the league, because we do we need a very good midfield. The next bit of business was Don Can Cynic, um, who arrived from Antali Sport, I think. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen much of him because he had a couple of days training with us in Hull City and then got injured. Um, so I've not seen him yet, but you expect him back in a couple of weeks. But we did need a left winger, obviously after the departure of Keane Lewis Potter. Um, and yeah, hopefully you know he can, you know, he's a jelly with you know like Ozan Two fan. Pelcats and all the other players coming in, um, but yeah, hopefully you can provide that you know a bit of creativity on the wing. Then the next signing for Hull City was Benjamin Tete, um, the Ghana international, um, who's you know done very well for us so far. Not really playing in that striker role we expected him to, but he has been playing on the left wing, obviously with us having Cynic injured and other wingers injured and KLP going. Um, but yeah. Tete has been very good for us, you know, holding up the ball, assisting Oscar, gelling with Oscar, um, getting plenty of assists, and yeah, he's quick and he can beat a man, um, and physical as well. So yeah, very impressed with the sign of Benjamin Tete, and I hope he has a brilliant the rest of the season. The next one was a bit of a weird one because I'm obviously signing another goalkeeper, Timothy, Timothy Le Tutala, I think that's how you say the French. Goalkeeper joined from Spurs. Um, I think he's only been like a third option goalkeeper at the minute. We're not going to really see much of him. Um, but yeah, he's only young. Um, and yeah, um, just a good backup goalkeeper, really. Um, obviously, he was signing like Harvey Catwright and a good another goalkeeper on loan to Crawley. Um, yeah, I think it was important that we got this, but um, I understand why we did it now. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can play some more games, like cup games during the season. So yeah, Ryan Woods was the next to join Hull City in midfield um, from Birmingham City. Um, you know, obviously our injuries have affected the midfielders the most. Um, yeah, and I didn't know when we had two fan and semi injuries as well, so very much needed. Um, done very well in two games I've seen him play, and uh, yeah. Got good championship experience, and um, yeah, looking forward to see what he can bring, bring us this season. Next up is the signing of Arsenal wonder kid Salah, Ulad, and Hamd. Um, and yeah, Hull City obviously been work, we've work, worked on this for a few months. Um, 18 year old, um, can play centre attacking midfielder. I think that's the position he is. Um, yeah, this was the mystery number 10 Hull City have been reported after. And, um, yeah, I've not seen him play yet, um, but hopefully we'll be back, we'll be back soon. Um, he got injured at Arsenal before coming here. Um, it's a loan deal with an option to buy at the end of the season, so hopefully we can see enough of him to buy next season. And I think we will, because of the, the amount of work Adjun and the staff behind um put into this deal um, but yeah very looking forward to seeing him play the next one was an important bit of business that Hull City had to do um, obviously in the right wing back position obviously only having Louis Coyle um, as only right back at the club and Josh Manuel who is still at the club but obviously medical reasons say he can't play um, so yeah right wing back Cyrus Christie who's been at Swansea, Forest and Derby I believe and was training at Birmingham during pre-season, so, um, so yeah, his fitness level was kept up, and I think this is a very important signing because we did need someone who can, you know, more of a right wing back who can get forward and put crosses in, um, and also get back and defend, which you know, obviously Lou Coyle is obviously going to play, um, but yeah, good conversation now bringing Simon Christie in, um, so yeah, very good addition to the squad. And finally, the four signings that we made on deadline day. Um, obviously, Adama Traore has was one, if not the first one, that we should have signed. Um, it has been signed for 
you know, since the start of the transfer window really, but he did get injured. And all City have obviously waited and took their time to announce it and now that came on deadline day. Um, the first sign of deadline day as well. Um, very much looking forward to him, you know, getting back from his injury and playing again because there is a good player in there. I've seen some of the highlights and there is a good player in there. And um, everyone, you know, Tan and everyone seems very excited about him um, and how skillful he can be and, you know. But yeah, I think he will be a good player when he returns and obviously gets to know the league and stays injury free. And um, yeah, I think Monaco paid 15 million for him once. Um, so yeah, there must be a player in there. Surely, you think if Monaco paid 15 million for him, then there must be some player in there. Um, but yeah, very looking forward to seeing him play. The next one to arrive was the first of two Chelsea players joining us on loan on deadline day, and that was si si Simons, I think. Yeah, Simons. Um, the Chelsea youngster who can now play in mid defensive midfielder or can also play centre back as well. Um, so that's a very good move for us because we do need cover um, in centre back areas and midfielders. Um, so yeah, very useful signing for us. Then Hull City announced Dimi Pelkas on a loan from Fenerbahce um, with no buy club option. Um, this is because um, his contract runs out with Fenerbahce this summer, um, well, summer 2023 rather. Um, so we can possibly get him for free then if he don't extend his contract with Fenerbahce. Um, which would be another good free transfer for us if he does very well for us during his loan spell. Um, I, think, I think everyone, every Hull City fan has been excited about this transfer. Um, and now he's finally here, let's see how he gets on. Um, and yeah, let's hope he does very well and can't wait to see him play. The last signing of the 16 was a y another youngster from Chelsea, Harvey Vale. Um, he can play left wing and right wing um, tag midfield. Um, he does have a very brilliant left foot. Um, reminds me of Chad Bowen sort of player. Um, but yeah, he's joined on loan for a season. Um, and yeah, very excited to see him play and um, see some clips. Looks very good. Um, and yeah, that has been the transfer, well, the summer transfer window 2022 review for Hull City um, incomings anyway. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all later. Peace.